Hey guys, so today we'll look at the next reveal of the 2023 Dodge Buzz models, which would be the 2023 Dodge Charger Super B, announced just yesterday. We'll also look at a bit of a history of the Super B nameplate, and look ahead to the remaining Buzz model releases and what we might expect. So let's get into it. So the Super B is the second special edition model that's announced after the 2023 Dodge Challenger shakedown last week. This Buzz model honors a vehicle that has been part of the Dodge brand for decades, and it truly does create a buzz thanks to its B theme. I have made a full Dodge Super B series that goes in depth on these models, so part 1 covered the 1968 to 1971 Super B and 1970 to 1980 Mexican Valiant Duster Super Bs, while part 2 then focused on the modern versions. So make sure to check those videos out in the top right corner or the description for more Super B content. The Dodge Super B was first introduced in 1968 and then got a Charger model for 1971 and it reached legendary status in its brief original four-year run as it gave customers an ultra-high performance vehicle that could serve as both a daily driver and a weekend warrior at the track or the drag strip. Most recently we saw the Super B return for the 2007 to 2009 and 2012 to 2014 SRT8s on the Charger built around the top trim levels at the time. This 2023 Dodge Charger Super B aims to carry on that legacy, and this will be the highest performance Charger Super B model ever produced. Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskas talked about the car, saying, quote, The Dodge Super B is more than commemorative of a cool heritage name. It is also a Charger variant of the Challenger 1320 Grassroots Race Package. The Special Edition 2023 Dodge Charger Super B once again offers a Dodge vehicle that is equally at home on the street or on the drag strip. End quote. So what do we know about this Super B? It's built off the Scat Pack trim level, and 2023 will see 1,000 units built. There aren't too many pictures out yet, unfortunately, so what you see is all I could find. Similar to what Dodge did with the Challenger Shakedown, 500 of these are Charger Scat Packs finished in B5 Blue, and the other 500 are Charger Scat Pack wide bodies that are finished in Plum Crazy Purple. Just like the previous Super Bs, the Charger features Super B badging on the grille and front fenders, graphics on the functional hood scoop, and graphics on the rear fender. Those hood and fender graphics will come in white with the Plum Crazy versions, and interestingly on the B5 Blue models they're still blue, not sure why those aren't white as well. The Super Bs also will feature a black Mopar hood pin kit, the SRT hood with functional hood and dual heat extractors, SRT black exhaust tips, and red 4-piston Brembos even on the fronts as that saves weight over the 6-pistons as this is more of a drag focused vehicle. Inside the theme continues with an instrument panel badge and Super B seat back logos. As for the wheels, the Scat Pack version comes with 20 by 9.5 inch knurled wheels with 275 drag radials, while the wide body has 18 by 11 inch drag wheels with 315 drag radials. So that's basically the same setup on the wide body as the Dodge Demon and the Super Stock before it, perfect for drag racing. Both feature adaptive damping suspension. And all the Super Bs come with the Plus Group and the Carbon Suede packages. So while there are lots of unique features, overall this is more of a visual package, and that's probably what we can expect from most of these upcoming models. As for getting your hands on one of these, Dodge will build them at random and ship them to the top dealerships around the country to be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Potential buyers will be able to see where these vehicles are headed on Dodge Garage, but once they hit the dealerships, it will be a mad scramble to buy some of these. As for the upcoming models, September 7th features a two-model release, 1,000 each for a Charger and Challenger with a 6.4-liter Hemi. A week later on September 14th, we will see a Charger Hellcat Red Eye of some sort, as it says 6.2-liter high output, with only 300 being built. September 21st sees the Challenger Red Eye counterpart with 300 units. The very last model debuts at the 2022 SEMA show in Las Vegas. That's a vehicle I've been talking about in my 2023 final Hellcat videos, where it could feature close to or over 900 horsepower, with features that could include the largest supercharger of any modern Challenger, possibly using the 3 liter Helifant IHI blower, and or running on some ethanol blend such as E85. So that's it for the new Charger Super B. Before I end the video, I just want to briefly cover the Super B history. It's nothing too in-depth, as I've already done that in my Super B series, but it is some extra information just to build on that heritage. So back in the late 1960s, Dodge offered the higher-priced Charger RT and Coronet RT, so they wanted to have a low-priced muscle car, and that would end up being the Super B. The name was a play on words from the B-Body platform, and the logo was based on the Dodge Scat Pack B medallion. Designer Harvey Wynn actually hand-cut that B-design on his dining room table, and it stuck. That original Super B was based on the Coronet 2-door coupe, and it had a relatively lower cost at the time of $3,027. That 
That year there were two engine options, a 335 horsepower 383 V8 or a 425 horsepower 426 Hemi, and the Hemi was a thousand dollar option. There were various changes over the next few years, like for example 1969 added a hardtop and 446 pack engine, while 1970 got a redesigned front end. By 1971, the Coronet was only available as a sedan and station wagon, so Dodge moved the Super B to the Charger platform. Dodge already had their Charger RT, so the Super B was the lower priced offering. I'll post the sales numbers on screen, but the Super B never did particularly well. The falling sales can be attributed to a variety of reasons, including the new redesign not going over well with customers, and skyrocketing insurance rates for performance cars. The Super B itself never had a firm spot in any lineup, as it was always more expensive than the Roadrunner, but cheaper than any other Dodge muscle car offerings. Still, the 1971 Charger with the 426 Hemi could run 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds and the quarter mile in just 13.7 seconds, so it became the budget supercar for those who wanted an ultra high performance daily driver that could also tear it up at the track on the weekends for just 3,000 bucks. Dodge then brought back the Super B name for 2007, this time it was based on the Charger SRT8. It added $3,000 to the price of the top model SRT, so that's $39,045 for the Super B back in 07. There were limited production quantities in different colors each year. So 2007 there was Detonator Yellow with just 1,000, 2008 got 1,000 B5 Blues, and 2009 was the rarest with just 425 made in Hemi Orange Pearl Coat. So that means there's a total of 2,425 Super Bs out there, most finding their way across the US and Canada. The features varied depending on the year, but they did all have the nice features of the SRT8, like sport bucket seats, SRT styling with the front bumper and hood, 20 by 9 inch forged aluminum wheels, and the 425 horsepower 6.1 liter Hemi V8. This Super B could do 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, the quarter mile in around 13 seconds, and hit a top speed of 165 miles per hour. Super B features included the decals, blacked out trunk, Super B fender badging, interior accent stitching, and limited edition plaque inside. After a three year hiatus, the Super B would return for the 2012 Charger. Dodge chose to make this version into more of a budget muscle car, which went back to the basics and leave some luxury items behind, so it was a step below the SRT model at the top. The SRT8 started at around $45,925, while the Super B was $4,300 cheaper at an MSRP of $41,625. So again, just like the original version, Dodge would leave out some luxury features for the cheaper price. For example, they did away with the leather seats, the nice audio system, and the large navigation screen. Again, they did add unique touches to separate it from the regular SRT8, like a gloss black split crosshair honeycomb grill, 3D Super B emblem, and matte black graphics on the hood, spoiler, and rear fenders. On to performance, every Super B is powered by the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi that made 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 happens in only 4.1 seconds, and the quarter mile in 12.5 seconds. Top speed is 175 miles per hour. So now that's finally the end of the video. Overall, the Super B started out as a no-frills kind of muscle car, but it has morphed into a collector's edition that's made in limited quantities with unique features that set it apart from the other models. In any case, you still get the big powerful Hemi engine under the hood and a few flashy paint options. What do you guys think of these Buzz models so far? Just a gimmick to get rid of old parts or an exciting way to celebrate the Charger and Challenger? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.